The death of Chicago rapper Juice World on December 8th, 2019 sent shockwaves across the industry, leaving his family and his fans wondering what to do next. This morning, the music world in shock after the sudden death of 21-year-old rapper Juice World. Passing only days after his 21st birthday, Juice seemed to be at the beginning of a lengthy and successful career. In late January 2020, Juice's family issued a statement that read, quote, from the bottom of our hearts, we want to thank each and every one of you for your undivided adoration and love for Juice. We plan to honor Juice's talents, his spirit, and the love he felt for his fans by sharing unreleased music and other projects that he was passionately in the process of developing. A forthcoming posthumous release from Juice World would be the latest in a string of life after death albums from young MCs who died far before their times. From Mac Miller's recent effort circles to XXXTentacion and Lil Peep's numerous projects, the latter genius covered in early 2019, there have been reports suggesting that there are at least 2,000 unreleased Juice World songs, likely due to his talent for freestyling. Does he have that many sessions? He may have even more than that. But is the general public going to hear that? I, I don't believe so. That's legendary Chicago producer DJ L. He is the man behind the early careers of Lil Bibby and G Herbo. He also played an important role in introducing Juice World to Lil Bibby. In a rare interview with Genius, he told us that Juice's talent was unlike anything he's ever seen. This is my first session with him, and I was in the studio with the kid, and he started freestyle. I mean, and it was just... It was incredible. I don't really never take my time, especially when I be spitting lines. This is off the dome when I hit it. Freestyle, I ain't ripping the rent. Beat the pussy, I don't fuck with the kid. Similar to his prolific inspirations like Lil Wayne, Future, and Young Thug, most of Juice's songs began as freestyles. Freestyle off the dome, I won't lie in this bitch. Fuck a pen and a pencil, I won't write in this bitch. L compared those skills to basketball players on the court. It, it, it was like, his kid was like LeBron James. You, know, you understand? Like, I never seen nobody do that in music. Michael Jordan had it, you know what I'm saying? Like LeBron had it, Juice had it, whatever it is. All up in they feelings, me, I'm just winning. W I N N I N G. Boys ain't no I N team, but it's an me and team. I'm in it's a me and team. I know I just fucked up a bitch, I'm still the freestyle king. In fact, Juice recorded his sophomore album, Death Race for Love, in just four days. When he was hot, it didn't take much time. Lucid Dreams, I wasn't rushing to write that song. I wrote it in 15 minutes. Some of the best songs I've like dropped, I've made in like 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's just off the strength of my work ethic. L says the large amount of unreleased music is going to make it quite difficult to finally release. Juice is not here, so you don't know what he would have wanted. I don't, give a fuck. I don't care if people say they know him, even you was close to him. You don't know what that man would have wanted to put out. but. I, I trust Bibby. After Juice's death, Bibby said, quote, You will be missed. Watch you one take platinum records. Gonna miss you freestyling around the crib all day, even though that shit got a little irritating. Most genuine person I've ever met. Miss you. Love you, brother. I still look at it like, not there's people that can't do that shit. I, I can't do that shit. Like, he know how to freestyle all day. It makes sense. But there is a method to releasing posthumous projects. Not everything an artist records will be, or maybe should be, heard by their fans. I know Juice recorded a lot. Knowing Juice and his ability to come with large, large songs and things of that nature, I feel as if he could have that. But I know, you know, unless you Chris Brown releasing 40 song albums, I don't think that the general public is going to hear all 2,000. I mean, I would love for the general public to hear, but I, I don't believe it. they'll ever hear all. I mean, it's stuff that Tupac's still floating around the general public hasn't heard. Still, time is of the essence. Elle believes that fans could overlook the Chicago Kid's legacy with today's short musical attention span. The tragedy in all this, you know, people love Juice, but the interest level of kids nowadays is so finicky, you know, and, and if you're not here, you just get forgotten. The people around Juice's estate are still picking up the pieces. We'll just have to wait and see what they end up putting together. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Peace.